Hello, and welcome to the Caliber IC Nanometer Design Channel. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create XOR rules for layout versus layout compare and optimize them for run with Caliber Fast XOR. In this example, I'll be using the dbdiff utility to generate layout versus layout compare rules. dbdiff will read the input design data and generate the proper dual database compare deck with XOR operations in order to compare the shapes on the common layers found in the input design. After execution, I see warning messages about missing layout base layer statements in the transcript. In Caliber, layout base layers are required to ensure optimal performance. Using the dbdiff rule generation, the input base layers option can be specified as a layer and data type on the command line. Rerunning the dbdiff rule generation with my input layers listed resolves the issue and no warning is reported. DBDIF uses runtime options during fast XOR, which are automatically output to the rule deck, but may also be specified as an environment variable at runtime. In my example, I'll be using the environment variable to control the DBDIF options. After setting the environment variable, I'll launch my initial fast XOR job. This fast XOR job completed in just over 20 minutes. Now I'll open the log file and we'll review the dbdiff output. Searching for compare with dbdiff will bring me to the part of the log file where dbdiff is executing. Here, dbdiff reports that the input options defined by the environment variable were used. We also see that the dbdiff generated maximum difference threshold for the input designs was exceeded. When this happens, the dbdiff mode may not deliver the fastest overall runtime. We recommend automating mode selection in FastXOR by first setting the max diff option prior to running FastXOR. After updating my dbdiff environment variable, I can relaunch Caliber FastXOR. I'll output the transcript to a new file so that we can do a side-by-side -side comparison. I have the original FastXOR run on the right and the optimized one here on the left. We can see a significant runtime improvement by automating the mode selection. In a side-by-side -side comparison, you can see that after the maximum difference threshold was reached, FastXOR switched modes. That took just 28 seconds of processing time in this case. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.